Hey, what's up? I'm Rachel Starr, and um, for those who are just finding this video and you're like, what? Who are you? Um, I'm a schizophrenic, yeah, Ex schizophrenic extraordinaire, I like to say. Uh, anyway, but a lot of people had asked me to talk about delusions, saying, Rachel, you never really, really take to talk about delusions in your videos. Um, so first of all, let me explain the difference between a hallucination and a delusion, because a lot of people um, get confused about those two things and confuse them. So if, like, right now I suddenly saw a pink elephant, like, fly around the room, all right, that would be a hallucination. Now, a delusion is when you believe, like, a belief, um, that might be not, not true. So, for instance, if I believe, let's say, the CIA is out to kill me and has my entire house bugged, all right, so I believe that, versus hallucination is seeing, or let's say, hearing voices, things like that, that kind of manifest, um, and you think they're real. The thing is, these two kind of blend together a lot. So it's like if I have a delusion that the CIA is um, taping me and, let's say, has recorders all over my house, then I start maybe having a hallucination that goes along with the delusion of, let's say, hearing people talking. Um, maybe I see a bunch of coincidences suddenly happen in my head, um, and I put it together as so that's with the CIA. So they kind of are interconnected. So delusions if if you're a friend or family out there and you you have a loved one with mental disorders who has a delusion it's it's not like you can just tell them you can't rationalize with them you can't rationalize with someone who but believes something like that um telling them no the CIA is not here you can't rationalize it you can't um sit them down and be like let's go through your house let's find the recorders because they'll get it to the point where they're like oh well you know the camera is in this sticky note um, the cameras in this pen and they could take it apart and it, it'll, they'll still figure it out. If someone has a delusion and it's dangerous to them, they need to get help. Period. If it's a risk of putting themselves in danger or putting other people in danger by them having this delusion, then they absolutely need to get help. Okay? And as a friend or family, like I said, you can't convince them otherwise. When my grandfather had Alzheimer's, you cannot, I mean, you cannot rationalize with someone with Alzheimer's if he, you know, gets, he would get things in his head. Um, he would get obsessed over, like, really bizarre things. He um, got upset once that no one could turn the lights on outside, and it was nighttime. You know, he meant the sun, but things were all messed up, and it didn't, it didn't matter if you explained to him, okay, you're talking about the sun, I can't turn the sun on at, you know, 1 a.m. It's not possible. Like, there, there is no way of explaining this better. You just kind of have to deal with it and kind of help the person through those delusions. Now, again, if it's a delusion that's not putting anyone at risk, okay, so for instance, Grandpa, all right, I don't need to call the cops because Grandpa thinks the sun's, you know, not on. Um, you know, we just kind of help them, it passed, things like that. But let's say if it was he needs to go out and kill somebody, then that is definitely something you need to look into. Because when people have delusions, they it's not just like they kind of believe it. It's like they absolutely believe this thing is happening. Um, luckily, most delusions, especially with schizophrenics, are not violent. I know the TV movies and all that make them out like that's the only kind of hallucinations and stuff you have, but believe me. Um, that's such a small, small percentage. Um, most schizophrenics would never hurt anybody. They uh, Schizophrenia makes you withdraw inside yourself, so you're actually not very likely to burst out at anger um, people at all. So, first thing to take away, if you know somebody and they're at risk or putting other people at risk, you do need to, like, call 911, call the hospital, have them admitted, something like that, if, if anyone is in danger in any way. Um, now... So, my delusions. I I don't know. I've been told by psychiatrists before that I have delusions. Um, however, I'm looking back, I'm still like, well, I think that really happened, so you can go yourself. Um, we won't get into that. I find myself along odd thinking patterns a lot. I'll get things stuck in my head, and my thoughts, I'll become very obsessive about things. I believe in a lot of ways... Um, I don't know, and I, and I remember telling someone once this, this I don't even call, I don't like calling it a delusion because I, I don't really know how to explain it, what it is, but it works for me, so why should it matter? Um, but I do remember telling people this once, and they were just like, oh, okay, and I'm like, hey, you asked. Don't ask if you can't handle the answer. I always get the feeling there's three entities in me, kind of, that are always at work. I guess it's kind of like why I don't ever worry about things, because whenever things get bad, 
one of the other other entities kind of takes over, but they're all me. There's Rachel. That, that's me. Hi. What's up? Like the basic me. Then there's a version of me with my face cut off. And um, that's like the sick version. Um, the sick, insane, crazy one that does crazy stuff and is completely out of control and warped and everything you can possibly imagine. And then there's something what I call the godlike version. And I guess the godlike version is whenever I'm when something really bad happens, uh, it's always who I account the, um, when I hear a voice that says, Rachel. You know, I, it never really says much other than my name, but I sometimes, when I'm in a really bad situation, it's the thing that can kind of, like, grab me and be like, you need to go do that, you know, and that puts those thoughts in my head. So audibly, I've only ever heard it say Rachel, um, kind of to snap me out of things and to focus. And that's what I, I call the godlike version. Um, I know. Weird, right? Uh, but I believe this, you know, the, these are just different things. When I get really, really sick, you know, one of those two come out. And neither, I would say, like the sick version, even though it's called sick. Um, I don't think it's necessarily a bad version. It's just a different way of handling things. And whenever, yes, yeah, stress gets really bad, one of those kind of comes into play. It's not like, you know, I'm possessed or something and people take me over. But it's like, I, it's like they're there with me. And they kind of always are, but sometimes they're just sitting in the back quiet and just kind of hanging out. And yeah, so I guess I guess that would be really the only like constant delusion I have. But yeah, so delusions. They don't hurt anybody. I guess they're okay. Just keep them in check. That's all I got. rocking my sweet green ranger beanie 